Hi, welcome. It's Rob Howard here from EFL Talks again. And today our guest is Ila Cambra. Now you're coming to us from Sao Paulo, right, in Brazil? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And you're going to talk about feedback today. That's it. Great. Exactly. So I want to thank you for being here to do your first of many EFL Talks. Hopefully. <laughs> and I'll see you somewhere in the world soon. Okay? So okay. let me bring up your presentation and you can take it away. Okay, Rob, thank you very much. Hello, everyone. As you said, as you've seen, um, my name is Ila and I'm from Brazil. I'm going to be talking about feedback. So the first thing we should uh, take a look at is what is feedback actually and if you take a look at the dictionary definition uh, Cambridge Dictionary and Oxford Dictionary they both definitions come uh, with the word information in it so what we have as feedback according to the dictionary is information that we give about somebody's work about a product about anything that we see and uh, which this information comes with a device, criticism, or uh, suggestions to improve. But if we go uh, to our uh, area, our field, we are going to see that Thornbury defines feedback uh, as information, again, so we have the word information, uh, information that we give to our students in order to improve their performance. So we have the idea of improvement with the information that we give. And according to my mind, now I'm quoting my own mind here, uh, is a reaction, to me feedback, is a reaction that we have to anything that our students have said, produced, or um, written, or done, and etc. So I think we can agree that feedback is information that we provide to our students in order to generally make their um, perform linguistic performance better. But not only that, as we're going to see throughout the presentation. So, uh, according to the literature that we have in EFL, uh, feedback can be negative, in the sense that you shouldn't make a mistake and say, okay, there's a mistake there. Um, you, uh, feedback can be positive in the sense that, okay, you got that right now, so this was the right form to use or the accurate form to use. Feedback can be explicit in the sense that you're saying, okay, there's a mistake there and this is the right form. Feedback can be implicit. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Thornberry calls that recasting. Uh, so, for example, a student says, I go to the movies last weekend. And you say, so, you meant that you went to the movies last weekend. So, you're uh, rephrasing your student's language with the correct form. Uh, so, this is the implicit feedback, according to literature. Uh, also, feedback can be individual, in the sense that it's you and the student can be, or the student in you, right? Uh, feedback can be group feedback, so it's you talking to the whole group of students, not only to improve their performance, linguistic performance, but maybe after um, a group activity, for example, or after uh, the semester, when the, the, third, the term is over, and then you can actually uh, get some feedback from them, or give them feedback about how they they have performed throughout the, the term and throughout the course and how do they feel throughout the course and etc. Feedback can also be, as I said, from teacher to student or to students. Feedback can be from students to student. So, for example, you give a writing activity and instead of you correcting, you ask your students to correct their own, um, their own uh, work. So it's students giving feedback in their, for, for their peers. It's called peer feedback, right? And this is interesting. A feedback can be from students or from student to teacher. 
which means that the student can um, tell you what they expect from the course or what they want to have more in the, the next step of the course or uh, how they felt about, about an activity after a challenging activity, something like that. Okay? And why? Why do we give feedback? Well, the first reason, and yeah, I think it was obvious by the definition that we took a look in the beginning of this presentation, is to improve our students' linguistic accuracy. So by giving feedback, uh, we can help our students to notice what's wrong and got them writer, or right or writer, as we are going to see soon. Uh, also, feedback is, uh, is necessary to reassure students that they are saying that they are using the, 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 the appropriate language. They are using the right form of the verb or they are using the right chunk, the right function, they are pronouncing something properly. And so they, they feel reassured that they are, uh, they are uh, in the right path. Feedback is also good to draw up an action plan. After an exam, for example, which a student didn't get the grade he expected, you can sit down with that, ex with that student and actually draw up an action plan in order to have um, this, this action plan for them to, to get what they need and what they want uh, in, another, in another opportunity. Right? Or maybe in the end of a semester, draw up a plan for the next term of, of the course. Feedback is necessary also, and I think this is not fair, it's a little bit um, not talked about, to show interest. So sometimes your students say something like, okay, I, I go to the movies last weekend. And then you just correct this past tense. And you don't even care if he, the movie was good, what movie he watched, if he ate popcorn, or if he, he had good company to go with, to the movies with. So sometimes we, we are too focused on giving feedback in language, uh, to language that we forget that we need to show it's interesting, uh, to show interest in what our students are saying, right? So feedback is good for a batch. And to demand a little bit higher from our students. So for example, uh, your student says that he went to the movies last weekend and you say, oh, good, how was the movie? And they say, oh, the movie was good. Say, mm, okay, did you eat popcorn? Yes, how was the what was the popcorn like? Oh, it was good. Say, okay, that's too, too many goods around. Let's try something different, right? So the movie can be, what else can you say about the movie? Well, the movie was catching, the movie was thrilling, the movie was interesting instead of only good. So you're not actually focusing on what's wrong, but you can actually focus on what is better language, not only what is wrong, right or wrong, to get our students out of their comfort zone. Feedback is quite useful for that. When are we giving feedback to our students? Basically all the time. We are giving feedback to our students when we nod. We are giving feedback to our students when we shake our hands. We are giving feedback to our students when we smile at something that they say. Uh, our body language says a lot about how we are feeling towards their production or towards the information that they are giving. Um, our praising also says a lot and we need to watch out a little bit uh, uh, with praising uh, because sometimes we just praise too much, right? I went to the movies last week and good, what was good about that? That he has a social life? That he finally left home and saw some people? or that he got the past tense of the verb right. So when we praise, we need to be very clear about what we are praising. We also give feedback when we are correcting, right? By giving the right form, pointing what's wrong. We also give, feed give feedback. We are giving feedback when we show our students that we are listening to them. So if they say, okay, I went to the movies last weekend and say, really, what movie did you watch? We are showing interest, interest in our students. And the same goes for uh, when we are reading our students' uh, production. So if your students just wrote a beautiful narrative, to use narrative tenses for, for, for example, why not reacting as a reader like, wow, that's, that was a creative story. I wonder how I would feel if I uh, had gone through that. Or uh, an uh, argumentative text. 
So when you convince me on that, I'm going to research a little bit more about what you just said. Uh, so reacting as a reader when we are giving feedback to our students' writing is also very important. Um, and of course, drawing action plans, as I said before. Right? And how? How should we give feedback? Well, uh, when you think of oral production, feedback has to be, can be on the spot, meaning right in the moment that the student is speaking. So you give, uh, you either react or you correct or you draw, uh, atten you draw attention to a point. Feedback can be delayed, meaning you take notes of something and then you give the, uh, feedback on that piece of language or on that, what they said after they finished speaking. Feedback has to be focused in the sense of you can go on correcting or changing everything the student says. So focus in one aspect. So uh, focus on their pronunciation, focus on their grammar, or vocabulary, or function. Focus in one thing to be very uh, effective feedback. And the feedback has to be challenging in the sense that, uh, oh, I went to the movies last weekend. Go or went? Uh, duh. If, you, if I said go and you say went or go, so I mean, the right uh, option is the other one. So why not I'll go to the movies last week? Uh, why don't you use the past or give something for them to think about? Okay? Uh, in terms of written production, feedback ha has also to be selective. You can't go on correcting everything. Um, just focus. Uh, as I said before, React as a reader, because you have just read a text, so you have to, it's a good idea to react as a reader. Point, instead of correct, so instead of giving the, the right, crossing the wrong, the, the mistake and giving the right um, uh, form, why not, okay, there's a mistake in this sentence, there's a problem with the verb stance in this, in this sentence. So at least your student can think of, reflect upon their, their own language. And, be clear and thorough, okay? I mean, uh, this is good. Why is that good? This is right. Why? What makes this right? What makes this piece of language accurate or interesting or good? So, one thing that I would like to leave you with when thinking of feedback is um, try to be uh, as detailed as possible. Thank you very much. That was it. Now it's up to you, Rob.